matter with you? Well, it is. Those are tents, aren't they? If you're going on a camping holiday, it only makes sense you should find out what it's all about. As a matter of fact, I'm making a mental note of all the equipment they got. <laughs> oh, God, blimey. Oh, you won't see nothing like that at Wimbledon, open or not. I do. <laughs> what are you talking about, disgusting? It's artistic. Certainly. Oh, you wouldn't think anything of it if we were walking around like that all the time. Free, unfettered, unashamed. Wouldn't bother me. You know what's the matter with you? You're a prude. Oh, sorry, mate. If I'd known that, I'd have spoken a bit louder. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean by being unfettered. They don't bother with trouser clips. Seen that before. Wait a minute. Let's see the end. If it makes you sick. You just don't appreciate culture. Oh, come on. We're only going to ask them where this paradise camp is. Talking about embarrassing. Oh, so that's it. I wonder what you were doing with all those tubes in your cupboard. How long have we been taking them to out? Exactly. And where's it got us? What did that lead to? She was sick. Let's face it. We are lumbered with two birds with prohibitions. I mean prohibitions. They just won't allow us. Listen, if we can get those two birds to paradise camp, all that freedom, back to nature, all that guff, do you think they can keep on holding out? Never. Don't tell them. Come on. Why not? Other people do. What's the matter with us? We got three legs or something? You can relax with your hands behind your back, can't you? Prince Philip does all right, doesn't he? Look, you make it sound like it was something shameful to go into a nudist camp. I tell you, it's the most healthy, natural thing in the world. Yes. As a matter of fact, my mate and I were wondering if you could... Well, we were looking for... Uh, tube of toothpaste, please. Aspirins? I'll take one of these, then. Here. Yeah. That's it! That's it! <laughs> Come on. Now, don't forget, not a word to the girls about where we're going. It's a mystery holiday. Yeah, it'd be too late by then. We must just act as surprised as they are. Don't worry, I thought of that. Hello, all set? Good morning, Mrs. Fussy. Oh, blimey, we're not emigrating, you know. It means you won't need a lot of clothes. You know, just a pair of shorts, swimsuit. All right, all right, Mrs. Fussy, we'll get it all on somehow. Get away. What with her funny skin and John's funny kidneys, it's got to be a bleeding hilarious holiday. Funny tummy, too. You ought to be on the telly. Tablet? What, a big, strong, healthy girl like her? Never. Come on, Bernie, let's get cracking. Yeah, that's it. Well, tell her, Mr. Fussy. Yes. Unnecessary, isn't it? What makes you think that's unnecessary? <laughs> you want to put some talcum powder on him. <laughs> she hasn't got one through her nose, either. <laughs> oh. I'm not stopping again. Long distances? She was off before we reached the end of your road. Yeah, I know what you can do with it. Oh. Put it over her head. <laughs> oh, great smelling salt. Uh, what is it? Essence of bacon and tomato. We're in the middle of the blooming country. There aren't any places. Oh, must be around here somewhere. Can't just stop anywhere. You've got to have proper facilities. How's oh, queasy chops? Look, that's it. Must have been in church. No, no, nothing special. But we'll uh, try it if you like. Don't be so selfish, Bernie. Think of the poor girls. We've never had enough for one day. We'll take a chance, shall we? You the owner of this site? Where is he? Oh. Yes, we'd like to camp here. Who do we have to see? Oh, how do you do, Mr. Fiddler? Yeah. I'm Boggle. This is Mr. Lug. We know all about that, don't we? Found? You all right, then? Bernie, it's all right, Bernie. We don't want to argue with Mr. Fiddler. Two, three, four. All right, shall we go, then? But we want to come in now. Book? Don't tell me you're full up. Booking fee. Which is? Found. Two tenths, two pounds. Now, can we come in? Rent. Bernie, it's all right, Bernie. What about the rent, then, Mr. Fiddler? Yes, which is? I know it. Tent? I don't know if anybody ever told you, but your name certainly suits you. Now, can we come in? What? <laughs> Bernie, well in. Eh? Oh, no, there's no alley for that. I mean, let's, uh, let's have a good look around first, see what the form is. Can't start now, they'll get suspicious. We're lucky, we managed to get in. Then you can just turn round and manage to get out again. What are you talking about? Filthy beast? What have I done now? Oh, is that what our camp was called? <laughs> it's a coincidence, eh, Bern? It has cost us ten nickers to get in here, and in we are going. You stay right where you are. We're not stopping in this lousy dump. Is this it, then? Doesn't seem very full, does it? Well, before you start squeezing, why are these people all sitting around with their clothes on? At all times. It doesn't take much to put me off mine. I'm very sorry, Mr. Fiddler, we've come to the wrong place. We can't stay here. But if you just give me the money, you don't give me that money, I'll clean nothing. I was just telling Mr. Fiddler here that you girls don't want to stay here. Yes, yeah, lovely. That's not the other bed, that's the rubber dinghy. Real bargain, that was self-inflating and all. We'll need it when we get to the beach. Get your sopping clothes off my bed. And you. Bernie, it's rainy. For God's sake, let's get some sleep. What about the light? Well, if this is paradise, give me hell. Well, what have I got to be cheerful about? Over my dead body. Do we? No, no, no. Just giving our feet some air, that's all. Small charge. Uh, pound. Get away. <laughs> you mean to tell me that you will let us put up one clothesline occupying at least ten feet of empty air for only five shillings? You skimpling. You scavenger. Yes, round your blooming neck. Hey, get some of my wick. I mean, ten quid we spent here. Anybody think the blooming field belonged to him? Pack up! Pack up! We're getting out of this joint right now! Come on, get this stuff out! Never mind about my poor feet. Get them tents down. Let's get out of here. Donna, if you've got lovely big blue eyes, you can have the one in the blazer. Well, what? Leaving? What? A lovely cheap place like this? No, shut up! Leaving? You must be balmy. Oh, it's nothing. It's a pleasure, in it, Ben. <laughs> Don't spoil it. <laughs> Sorry. No, we always call them that. 
They're relations, actually. Aunties. Mine? <laughs> That'd be tickled pink. <laughs> All right, I'll show you once again. You watching? All right, here we go now. Now you see it. Now you don't. Nah, <laughs> that's wrong again. I three kisses you are, <laughs> Oh, you don't want to worry about us, mate. We're only too happy to be of assistance. That suits us. <laughs> Wait a minute, darling. You don't want to take that. Too heavy for you. You might do yourself an injury. <laughs> Can you? Go and get some more for the others. Just come to give you a couple of hands, that's yeah. all. He's got to make sure he doesn't see us, haven't we? <laughs> yes. How about them? <laughs> oh, come on. Stop messing around, you two. Give us a bit. Let me and Bab show you how. You have hold of this. No, both hands. If you were a gentleman, you'd close your eyes. What did Fiddler say to you yesterday when you asked him for some eggs? Exactly. Six days we've been here now, and those birds are dead ready to be friendly. Not the blooming chickens! I mean, Babs and the other. Yeah, that's it. Yes, but how? How? With those four beady eyes watching us. Morning. Yeah, but a lot of good that'll do you. Yeah. Get your wash thing. So you'll have another wash today. Come on, shut up. What are you doing? We haven't come here to wash. Well, they can't stop us talking to them through the wall, can they? I can hear it. Just the other side of the wall. Babs, I think. Bernie, Bernie. You break out in boils. It's Babs. I recognize the dimples. Hey, Babs! It's me, Sid Foggle. Can you hear me? I was wondering if we could meet up somewhere tonight. Are you there? Get out of here, quick. Murder, innit? Like having a permanent itch and nothing to scratch it with. Fancy us. Your trouble is you don't recognize a green light when you see it. Better walk. I, I didn't want to wake you. What two flashy birds? Who asked you? Didn't even notice him. Can I help it if they're always standing where I'm staring? Thanks. I've already had one. That should be a good atmosphere for it. He's uh, quite right, you know. We ought to see everything there is to see. Well, what are you talking about? All right, get your things. Let's go. All right, then, Bernie, you and me will go. That place, uh, Stanfast Abbey. How about a bit of fun tonight? Bless you, my children. I'm telling you, Bernie, as soon as the lights go out, they're coming in here. A party. Not that kind of a party, Bernie. We have got it made. All we've got to do is play our cards right. Forget it. Just hide the bottles. They'll be asleep by then. Oh, well, that's it. As soon as it gets dark, we nip out, so they're ten flaps together. Blimey, it's only eight o'clock. Will you relax? Oh, there goes our party. Big mouth. You mean, you, you let me... My God. <laughs>